All right, guys. So just going over some of the statistics of the actual microphone itself. It's a Fafine K658 microphone. Uh, they say it's for recording, streaming, podcast, and gaming. Um, so basically, some of the stuff they're advertising is for background noises, free streaming, uh, Rainbow Wave GB, uh, RGB with an on and on off switch, which is located on the bottom of the microphone, uh, depending on how you have it mounted. It works well with Windows, Mac, PS4, 5, Xbox, actually. Um, it's very compatible. It's plug and play, USB, just standard USB into the microphone, um, USB-C into the microphone, I should say, and then in uh, USB-A into whatever device you're, or uh, software device you're using. Um, you have a button that's the uh, touch sensitive mute and vo volume dial, the gain dial. It's on the top of the microphone. You just hit the button and it's, you know, on and off. It turns red when it's muted and it's green when it's not. Um, and then it says real time, low noise monitoring and view more details below. So basically this is what they're advertising on here. Um, for the microphone itself, it can ship directly to you if needed. You can use a discount code. Um, and honestly it shipped to me pretty quickly. Um, I, you know, I have to give a shout out. It got sent to me for me to review. Um, and there's actually a lot of reviews on these it says 29 reviews. That's just on their website. You can actually go on to Google or, uh, even YouTube and there's different, uh, reviews on there as well. But yeah, like I said, plug and play, it's got a headphone jack. If you want to monitor your sound, it sounds great. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. This is the RGB button there. Um, and then we got, uh, the headphone jack, like I was stating, um, zero latency there. And then this is kind of what it looks like. 2021 award won an award for a good design award. It looks like, um, yeah, just overall, it's, it's just a, you know, sturdy mic. It's very sleek looking. It looks like one of their competitors. Like I mentioned, um, it, it's very professional looking, uh, a lot of people with their gaming setup like to use the RGB. Um, so that's definitely something fun to incorporate into the actual microphone itself. And it doesn't sound bad. It sounds very good. Uh, you can, you know, apply filters within your broadcasting software. Other than that, I mean, it's a uh, well put together microphone. You can't ask for a better mic. So yeah, this is uh, the Fifine K658 microphone, uh, USB microphone. It's a dynamic mic. Um, I use it for my own personal streaming and uh, gaming setup. Uh, I'll probably continue to use it. There's really no other reason to change. It sounds just as good as some of the other ones. So, All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a sound check or a sound test on the actual microphone itself. Um, this is what it sounds like. They say rule of thumb is you literally pinky to thumb. You want that uh, distance away from the microphone. Um, a lot of gamers will actually, you know, be right up on it. Or if you're using it for podcast purposes, um, you know, you would want to be a little bit closer. For, so your voice sounds a little bit deeper, more professional. You get that bassy sound. So, but you know, if you're just using it for recreation, such as zoom calls or gaming, like I have, this works perfect, you know, about two to three inches away or the distance. I mean, depending on the length of your fingers, but um, this is, yeah, definitely a good sounding mic. It's got the mute button on top. Very convenient. You have gain control on the knob itself. Um, and then you have the RGB button down at the bottom. It's very sleek. Uh, it's very, very professional looking, depending on how you set it up. I personally use it for my gaming setup, which I really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it sounds great. Looks great. you can add filters if you want through your uh, editing software or your broadcasting software. It's very compatible. It's USB, just plug and play. Sounds great. So this will conclude the sound test for the Fafine K658. All right, guys. So that is going to conclude the review of the Fafine K658. Make sure you leave a comment, leave a review, whatever you want. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. And most of all, go get yourself one of these mics. You won't regret it. This is Starstruck J, and I'm out. Thanks, guys.